Oh, hello again. Um, I've just returned from a well, kind of estate sale of thoughts. Well, someone was clearing a household and uh, they found some interesting stuff, including this box and what is inside of it. Um, and well, I just placed my bid on it on uh, Kleinanzeigen and well, that's what I got. So this isn't that interesting. It's just some canvas bag. Oh, it's two actually. <laughs> I didn't even know. I'm not sure if these even are military or not. They certainly look nice and uh, I don't think they are, but nice bags, I guess. <laughs> um, then we have this a British turtle helmet. I've never had one. Uh, I think someone just painted some stuff on it, so I doubt it's original. Well, the paint beneath is, but the rest probably isn't. Let's see. I don't know where to look for markings on these, I have to be honest. I think they're on the chin strap bales, but it's making noise. At least it has a chin strap, which is kind of fused to the liner. <laughs> um, yeah, if you can see anything, let me know. I can't see anything. Yeah, this side doesn't have anything on it. And this. Can't see anything either. Um, if I looked in the wrong spot, that's probably why. <laughs> I really don't know anything about these British helmets. It's the first one I've ever had, actually. So, uh, nice to have. <laughs> But that's not the reason I got there. The reason I got there was, this aside. <clears throat> of course, this, well, no, I just got this for free uh, because I was like, well, can I have this too? And they said, well, sure. So this is a Russian guards badge. It says Guardia right there. Um, yeah, well, not Russian, uh, Soviet. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's nice to have too. It's not really worth anything. So I was like, oh, can I have it? So yeah, <laughs> no. The real thing is, well, aside from this hand grenade box from the Bundeswehr, which is kind of nice too. Obviously this helmet, which I'll set on top of this box now. So yeah, here it is in all its dust <laughs> let's be honest this uh, is fairly dirty <laughs> but i like it this way because you know it's untouched uh, unfortunately someone had to empty their <laughs> paintbrush on it so it has a bit of black tar kind of paint i hope i can get rid of that i'll be very careful of course but yeah i don't even know what color this is i think it's just a brown but yeah it's an M40, that much I know already, and it's made by ET. Um, it should have a decal, but I doubt we can see it beneath all of this filth. <laughs> um, it's a wood chip camo, which is really cool. As you can see right here, that's all mixed in wood chips. Um, yeah, hard to say which side would have had a decal. I'm guessing it's a hair, so... There would be a decal there, but does it really matter? It's a nice camo helmet and it's, well, yeah, as you can see by the dirt and also the person who sold it said, well, it's been hanging uh, <laughs> in the uh, cellar for, well, pretty much her entire life and she was well, about 50 to 60 years old. So <laughs> I would say, um, yeah, this helmet has not seen the light of day in a long time. So, as for markings, right here. Come on. It's an ET64, lot number, something with a nine, I guess. It doesn't matter. Um, not sure if it has a dome stamp, I don't really care. It's got a pigskin liner in it in very nice condition this looks almost unused but it has a name right there there gefreiter i think it's gefreiter anyway um 
Helgemann. And uh, I asked the people who sold this if uh, they knew anything about this name, and it turns out it was one of the neighbors of them. So that's really nice. So it's it really came from there. So uh, this was from near Iserlohn, uh, which is close to Lüdenscheid, and all of you uh, metal people already know that city name. So yeah, <laughs> see, it's got a steel painted steel chin strap and the long end is still <laughs> probably in the place it has been uh, ever since the war. Let's wait. I'll carefully take it out so we can see if there's any markings and then we'll put it right back. Come on. It's been cut. It uh, doesn't have any markings on it because it has been cut. Let me show you right here. So part of it was still in there, but doesn't matter. Does it have a marking here? No, it does not. But yeah, just look at all this dirt that is still on there. This is really just, yeah, <laughs> as found, which is what we love to see. some wax in the top for some reason <laughs> yeah uh, anyway um if we can see the liner marking i'll have to check but uh it's probably a 1940 to 1942 dated liner um yeah let's see this is just in really nice condition I think it's a reissue actually. It looks like it has rough texture on the inside, but it could also just be rust. But either way, I mean, yeah, just look at the condition of everything. It's just so nice. It's just very dusty. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? It was pretty cheap um, and it's a really nice helmet. So yeah, I guess I'm sort of restarting a collection, maybe. I'll certainly dust this off a bit so we can see what the actual paint color is. I guess it's a Feldgrau, but yeah, hard to say <laughs> in this state, but it's been worn a bit, but I'm surprised as to how little wear there is on this liner. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like new. So maybe he won't, but it looks like, let me focus, there we are. I think it's Gefreiter, but he was tell me, so GFR, but it could be something else. It could also be the name abbreviated, maybe. So maybe he was a higher ranking person, so that's why it's not as worn. I really don't know. I just know it's a nice helmet and it was cheap because uh, I offered them, since the photos they supplied were pretty terrible, um, I offered them 300 euros for everything and well, they said yes. So that's what I got because there were only like two very general photos of everything and they didn't really know that this was uh, quite a desirable item and they had a lot of people contact them but probably be very annoying. So I stepped in and wasn't annoying, so I got it. <laughs> oh yeah, it also has an original drawstring in it, as you can see. It's not shortened, it's just all really, really nice. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I, I had to drive one and a half hours there and one and a half hours back, but it was certainly worth it. And yeah. Leave a comment uh, as to what you think about this helmet. <laughs> Should I restore it? Just, you know, strip all the paint of it? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. So then we can sell it for less. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough of that. I'll see you next time. Bye.